Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Seed. In this video, we are going to learn Ansible modules. So first of all, what is Ansible modules? So Ansible modules are reusable and standalone scripts that can be used inside an Ansible playbook and Ansible executes each module usually on the remote managed node and collects return values. Then the next is why we use Ansible modules or use of Ansible modules. So the reason is modules react with your local machine and API or a remote system to perform specific tasks like changing a database, password, or spinning up a cloud instance. Then here you can see, this is a list of modules. So there are a number of modules. So here I, uh, I have defined some modules. So here you can see cloud modules, command module, cluster module, package module, file module, database module, system module, monitor module, and etc. So in Ansible, there are a number of modules. So here I have defined few modules. If you want to uh, know the uh, Ansible modules, then you can go to the official page of Ansible and you can check the Ansible modules. So there are a number of modules in Ansible. So here you can see in Ansible modules, cloud module, clustering modules, command modules, crypto modules, database modules, file modules, identify identity modules, inventory modules, messaging modules, my monitoring modules. So there are a number of modules in Ansible. So if I click the command modules, then here you can see command. So in this, you can see here parameters. So CMD creates, removes. So this is the parameters of command modules. So if you scroll down here, you can see the examples. First of all, this command, then so you can see the create uh, parameter example. So this is the official page of Ansible. So if you don't know Ansible modules, then you can go to the official page of Ansible modules and you can check it. So that's the Ansible modules. So now, now we are going to, uh, let's check an example. So first of all, we are going to start our service. So first of all, here you can see this is my Ansible server and this is my client machine. So first of all, we need to create a playbook. So run the command. sudo nano and name of our playbook. So my playbook name is service.yml because we are going to start our service, that's why. Then this is my playbook. So as you know, playbook start with three dash, then single dash, so name is optional. So I have defined Ansible module. Then my host name is DevOps scene become true. So the main part is task. So in task, name start service, and in service module, here I have defined name nginx, then pattern, then state started. So now save the file. And now we are going to run our playbook. So run the command ansible hyphen playbook, then playbook name. So my service successfully started. Now clear the screen. Then 
now this is the example of start service then the next example is create user so in ansible module now we are going to in ansible we are going to create our new user so first of all we need to create playbook so here i'm creating playbook with the name user.yml and in this we need to write our playbook to create new user so in task you can see name create user in user name of your user so my user name is demo but if you want to change so you can change it so my username is sample then state present now save the file and exit and now run your playbook so the command is ansible hyphen playbook and name of your playbook so you can see create user so my user has been created successfully so now clear the screen then now the next example is create directory now we are going to create directory so first of all we need to create ansible playbook so run the command sudo nano and dict.yml my playbook name and in this we need to write this code because we are going to create directory now in this as you know ansible start with three dash then my host name is devops scene so the main part is task so in this ta in task name create directory and in command here first of all make a directory in this location then creates equals to in this location make a directory in this location that means home slash ansible and my directory name is test then creates equals to this location home slash ansible and my directory name is create test then register module then in debug uh, uh, we will print the message module that study out so now save the file so here in this line you can see first of all we are going to create the directory in this location and directory name is test then creates equals to slash home ansible then test now save the file and exit and now we are going to run our playbook so you can see okay so clear the screen so run the ls command and let's check so here you can see sorry go to the your client machine and this is my client machine and now we are going to check So run the ls command and you can see a test so now if i run the run my playbook again so my playbook name is dig.yml then you can see the message skipped since in this home slash uh, ansible slash test is already exist so that's the use of that creates here you can see that creates property so that's the use of that create properties 
it will print the message skip and if i run the command ls again so here you can see the test directory so that's the use of this create property then the next example is copy files so now first of all as you know we need to create playbook so my playbook name is copy.yml sorry sorry sudo nano copy.yml and now in this we need to write our playbook first of all okay first of all we need to write the playbook uh, as you know our task part is main so you know the first part that starting uh once we start with three dash then name ansible module my host name is devops in and become true and in host name copy files so first of all copy copy from where copy from source slash home ansible file 11 so by file 11 in this location copy from here and paste from here sorry paste here so copy from here and paste in here so first of all we need to create file 11 directory so this is the source uh, so this is the path where you uh, copy file and this is the destination path where you need to paste this file so first of all save the file and exit and run the ls command so as of now we, we are we have uh, here as of now you can see here there is no any file 11 file so first of all you need to create file 11 file file 11 now run the ls command you can see here file 11 and now now we can run our playbook so run the com run the command ansible hyphen playbook and name of our playbook is copy dot yml so first of all if you go to the client machine and run the yell go to the cd slash home slash ansible that means here's and run the ls command you can see there is no any file 11 file so now run the playbook now you can say changed okay that means our uh, playbook successfully execute and now run the ls command now you can see a file 11 file that means my playbook successfully execute so that's the example of copy files so that's the ansible module so in this module we have uh, we have learned so that's the ansible modules so in this video we have learned ansible modules and uh, how to copy files create directories and all so thank you for watching our video i hope you like the video and it's helpful to you so please like, share and subscribe our DevOps in channel.